cat's pillow. friends good morning this is going to be a really fun workday vlog as you can probably already tell i am not at home i'm currently and yes you do hear in the background the sounds of nature i'm currently working in the smoky mountains that is a loud bird or maybe even a chipmunk but just to open up the vlog really quickly here um i'm currently working in the smoky mountains and i'm really excited as you can see the fall foliage is beautiful here i'll probably show you guys another quick sneak peek before i head in for work but it's about 8 30 a.m and 8 20 a.m and we're gonna be here for about a week and a half and this is my first time in tennessee also my first time seeing fall leaves this pretty this orange and also the sun just sets a little bit later because we're you know not directly on the east coast um we're just gonna be working most of the day and we have stuff planned for weekends mostly um and then some early morning hikes but for the most part it would be on the weekends but i am filming the non-work parts on my other channel so i'll link that video down in the description if you guys want to see more but so far i've actually really enjoyed tennessee so yeah this is probably the most southern most southwest i've been look this here do you want to say hi to the vlog oh yeah good morning guys rise and shine pretty view this lighting is good. Oh, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but today is Monday. Okay, one bird stops and the other bird starts. That's so funny. I do have a few meetings this morning starting at 10. And then after that, it's really just heads down work. Um, I have a lot of tickets that need follow-ups. And then I have my long-term projects that I need to also double check on because this week is going to be a pretty important week for specifically one of my projects that i'm leading and yeah so this has been a long intro as it is so i'll talk to you guys in a little bit also this is a um, hot tub or jacuzzi my first time using one the other day grams of protein a day so this is like eight and then i'll probably have some eggs later which is going to be my full breakfast and this is the salted caramel and crunch salted caramel crunch chobani flips this is the most satisfying part set up a little airbnb tour of the living room This is the cat setup. Cat bed, cat litter, and water fountain. Can you hear me? How about now? Oh! Here, open the patio. Oh! oh wait, Bella's coming! Yeah, hold, hold Bella down. Oh! Here. So a bird got in here, and we're trying to get him out, but Bella's trying to eat it. Do you have gloves that you can put on so you can just pick him up? Koji, you're looking great. You look so comfy. You out this window is immaculate. The leaves here are so pretty. There's so many chipmunks running around. Smell of nature. Some eggs. All right, made myself some eggs with a view. It's lunchtime, so the sky makes the trees look a little bit different colored. All right, now it's more focused for you guys. But the colors, ah. What is this place called? Something barbecue. Grilled chicken. And oh, it's corn. 
Wow, very southern. Their biscuits are really good. Wait, this biscuit is so good. And I, got, I don't even like biscuits. I got enough for dinner. Wow. Alright guys, a bit of an update for just uh, working in general here. It's been really nice actually. So something I've always enjoyed is just working somewhere in like a destination I guess with a group of friends or like a group of people. It's kind of like the benefits of roommates since you get to socialize for a bit. Bella's coming. Um, but yeah, so it's been really nice except the fact that um, our Airbnb is basically a one bedroom with a loft upstairs. So for meetings, I think at 11 o'clock all of us had a meeting at the same time and you could just hear the interference in the background but I mean I mean it's just working from home so that's just how it is I feel like people are kind of used to it by now but yeah I had all of my meetings basically this morning and now it's lunchtime I just had I made myself some eggs and I also had some um, barbecue chicken from this place that we picked up from and it was honestly pretty good I've been eating a lot of protein I hope that was at least 40 grams of protein then at least I can maintain my muscle and uh wait I'm yeah right, so you guys don't see Luca just staring up for now but yeah overall work has been not too bad um, I had a few tickets I followed up on there's also a few vendors I'm working with looking back in my previous roles in security in specifically for um, for a bigger company I never got to touch any of this stuff um, so a lot of it is new to me so that's why even when I'm working on it I'm still learning all of it in the process so it's really so it's definitely an interesting experience but I feel like I'm really lucky to have good teammates and a good manager to kind of also help us walk through things especially when it's also new to them so yeah i am just working through some of that um, i'm looking through some security documentation as well and then there's a few tickets that i'm working on and then one of them actually closed out this morning which was really nice because that was on my plate for like at least a week and a half i think but yeah i think that's the biggest update that i have um in terms of work i still have to finish reading through this one ticket that i got basically about half an hour ago and me and my teammate actually just connected on a call about that and then there's no meetings for the rest of the day which is really nice um we might try to check out the gym later there's supposed to be a gym that's this airbnb is connected or affiliated with that is on the mountain but i mean it's like a small-ish gym so we might check that out and we might also go for a walk and that might have really helped the audio but obviously i can't film indoors because people are working and i don't want to talk while they're working but yeah let me know if you guys have any questions but take a look at bella doing her cute thing so we got her a flea and tick collar. This is her harness slash leash set. And she is actually pretty adventurous for a cat. She also has all of her shots. So she is okay and safe to be on the patio. We don't let her on the ground, um, like outside in the forest, but she does come. I think she's been out here like two or three times now. She's so cute. Alright guys, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Maybe when we head out and do something a little bit more interesting. Oh yeah. Oh, funny. I got this horrible bruise on my leg from leaving the door. I'm leaving the car. so pretty i can't the afternoon trees all right guys we're basically almost done the work day um somehow today i feel really tired for some reason i think it's because koji has been just meowing at night and it's been keeping everyone up honestly um but my eyes are also very dry for some reason how are you yeah same i can relate so we're all just tired working from a cabin <laughs> but at least the views are really nice when you come out here on the balcony and today's in the 70s so it's actually really nice out but i did follow up with some of the security tickets that i had and yeah it feels really i feel like the day feels a lot slower when there's no meetings actually especially in the afternoons because normally i have afternoon meetings compared to morning meetings but this morning i had like three or four meetings um and then one right at lunchtime and then after that i've just been kind of working on my tickets on my own and i think that actually makes time go by a lot slower compared to in the mornings when I have my heads down work because I think I just work better heads down in the mornings compared to in the afternoons because you kind of hit that plateau at some point 
and it's nice to have those meetings in the afternoon so that you can like talk to someone and have kind of like a change of scenery but virtually but yeah i am a little bit tired the gym that we went to oh we went to the gym that was part of the that's affiliated with our airbnb and it was very small but i mean they had some stuff i just used the dumbbell things and they didn't have any kettlebells but i did like a little mini full body workout and we might go back um in a few days i don't know um i think the schedule for the gym is like very off so we had to like figure out a time for everyone to go but maybe i'll go for a walk later there's a lot of chipmunks around here if i can find there's a bug on you guys um but yeah there's a lot of chipmunks around here i was gonna walk around and see how many we could see but this Smoky Mountains, or this area at least that we're in, is known for its black bears. One person so far has seen a black bear, and besides that, we are still looking. Um, we're like betting how many that we'll see. I think I'll see about three in this entire trip. And then there's just a lot of chipmunks and also birds. Um, earlier, a bird got stuck inside because um, we had a window open, I think. And yeah, I mean, we got it out eventually, but that poor bird was probably so scared because Bella was trying to eat him. <laughs> like, she was in predator mode. It looks actually so much different with these clouds. I'm guessing there's a lot of jets that fly around here because there's a lot of these like jet stream looking clouds. Like, they're not clouds, I don't think. Or I guess they're clouds, but like shaped by something. We're probably not gonna grill because it's kind of chilly out, but we did heat up the hot tub so we might go in there in a bit this is honestly exactly what i expected a fall work trip fall getaway to look like except maybe a little more well rested but um i don't think we have any plans later tonight we're i think we're just gonna stay in and just cook some pasta um and then we also have some leftovers from lunch and we'll probably just we'll probably just hang out in the jacuzzi or the hot tub i don't know if they're the same thing but i guess i'll talk to you guys in a little bit Okay, imagine living in this little house right here. It just looks so aesthetic. Whoa, my camera zoom. Oh my gosh. Ticket to ride. Okay. Alright, we're gonna play Ticket to Ride tonight. We have our lucky lady, Bella Cat. By the way guys, Bella actually has an Instagram. So so please give Bella a follow on Instagram if you wanna see cute cat content. I'll link Bella's Instagram in the description. So I'm trying to play it, but between these cards. I should say something. Oh, exactly. Two pieces left or something? Yeah, I, 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 there's a limit to how many cards you can have, right? But, I guess. Initially. Hi, right, guys, we just finished a game of Tickets Ride, and it was a spicy game. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like that game is very sweaty, but mixed with RNG, so. Honestly, that just makes it sweatier. But yeah, we don't really have any plans for tonight specifically. Um, it was really just work, board games, maybe some other event, but probably not. Yeah, I just can't get enough of these trees. They're so pretty. Let me just show them to you. I feel like I show them to you guys every time I come out. But now that the sun is like almost setting soon, um, they just they just look so colorful. Like we do not have trees like this in where I'm from. Like, I can't imagine living in that house. Oh, this is our house, by the way. From this side. Oops. This is our house from this side. It is so very aesthetic. This is our barbecue. But yeah, I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here. Overall work today had been really good because I also, before the day ended, closed out another ticket that I had on my plate for about a week. So yeah, I guess today is just a day of closing tickets. Honestly, that sometimes is how it is. Let me know what your guys' experience is if you're working in a team that has a loud bird. Actually, that might be a chipmunk. I think they do make a, that noise. Oh, I see one on the tree. It's so cute. Do you guys see them? Oh, that's a bird. I swear I saw a chipmunk. But yeah, if you guys have worked in teams that have like a ticketing queue or some kind of mailbox um, that has like different requests from different teams, internal or external, or both even, um, it tends to be like there's, there's sometimes those tickets that are that take a little bit longer or have more follow-ups and uh today i closed out two of those that were like a little bit more time consuming i guess um not necessarily time consuming actually but they just 
may take longer to follow up with teams, especially for teams that are busy that you may be following up with. They may have other project priorities and sometimes that's just how it is. But yeah, overall I was very excited about that. Um, I did connect with my teammates a little bit. I've definitely been lacking a little bit on the professional development side for like capture the flags and stuff like that. So I definitely need to hop back on the train for that. Yeah, I think that's definitely something I wanna focus on maybe a bit more tomorrow because, because tomorrow I think I have two or three major things on my to-do list. And then after that, I should be okay to spend some time on just professional development things and just focusing on internal learning. I literally can't stop looking at these trees, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. And if you guys are interested or haven't heard, I actually recently released my first cybersecurity course on how to get your first job in cybersecurity. And I'll link that down in the description if you guys want to check that out. Hopefully it will be helpful to you, but it has everything that I use personally to get my first job in cybersecurity as well as my second job in cybersecurity. And with that, Hopefully, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.